tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit the like button, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. Today, I'm in Excel uh, and a little bit of SQL Server. And so what I'm going to show you here today is uh, how to save a, uh, a character separated file. So obviously we know about the, uh, the CSV, right, the flat file uh, comma separated uh, values file. But I want to show you how we can uh, change that comma uh, when we need to, when we have to import a file. We need a flat file separated by something that's not a comma if we want to import it into uh, a database like SQL Server or something like that. So I've got a file, some mock data from, uh, from mockaroo.com, a really great site to go if you need to mock data. And you'll notice here in my comments, I've got some Latin here, right? Um, you know, the lorem ipsum. But, you know, these could be legitimate comments in, in a real uh, example, right? We could have uh, some, some verbiage that, that means something. Uh, in, in English or your native language. And you'll notice that I've got some commas in here. So if I were to save this, again, I'm in Excel. We're going to go save as. I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to rename this uh, comma delim just so that we can see that it is, whoops, comma delim. And so if I go into my, my SQL Server, I'm going to open up SQL Server. And if I go file, oh, sorry, I already had the database uh, that I want to import this uh, file into already open. Let's go to import data. Um, we're going to get the wizard that pops up here. I'm going to select uh, flat file source. And then we're going to browse to our comma delimited. Um, let's go here, mock data. And let's change this to CSV. And if I go in here to columns, you take a look. Right, let me expand this out. You'll notice I'm not getting my whole uh, sentence, my whole Latin sentence here. It's cutting off where the first comma is. And we don't want that, right? If I were to preview this, you'll see I'm getting the, the same thing here. It's, it's cutting off. So how, when, how can I fix that, essentially? Right? I don't want a comma separate because a comma could be part of my, my comment. So I want to change it to, let's say, a pipe delimiter. So let's go ahead and cancel this, because if I were to import it, we know it wouldn't be correct. So let's go back to our source file in Excel, our Excel file. You can see here, Microsoft Excel worksheet. Oh, yeah, we can open this up. But I want to show you first, we need to go here and make some changes. So you're going to go to your regional settings, right? And I'm in uh, Windows 10 Home. This is what it looks like here. And I'm going to go over here to Related Settings. I'm going to select Region again, right? Change date, time, or number formats. And they really bury it, <laughs> right? So let's go into Additional Settings. And you see the list separator here, right? Can you see that? Let me bring that to the middle. Uh, I want to change this to a pipe, right? So I'm right above the Enter on your keyboard. I'm holding down Shift. We're going to change that to a pipe. I'm going to say OK. Say OK. And so Excel is going to uh, feed off of that change that we did here uh, in, the, in the operating system. So now when I save this file, um, if I go to Save As, and I change this once again the same, even though it's CSV, and I'm going to put in here Pipe Delim. And let's go ahead and save that. <coughs> let's close this. Um, well, actually, let's open this back up. You'll notice if I open it in Excel, I still have my commas in here. You can look in here and still see that we have the commas. But if I go in here to pipe delim and I open with, let's say, notepad, you'll notice that I have that pipe delimiter here, right? And my commas are still here, which is fine. But now if I were to go into SQL Server and change my delimiter to a pipe, I'm not going to have a problem importing this into a table. And so just to show you, if I go back to SQL Server, we'll do this. We'll go to Tasks, Import Data. And next, 
Let's go to our flat file source once again. I'm going to browse and go down here to CSV. And this is going to be pipe to limb. And I need to change my, uh, you know, the format's delimited. But if I go into uh, columns here, uh, I can change. Let's see the column delimiter. I'm going to change this to, oh, vertical bar. So, so it was smart enough to recognize that. But if I look at my, my comments now, you'll see that it's smart enough right, to give me my whole comment with the commas in there. And if I look in the preview, same thing, because it's no longer looking for a comma to delimit. Right? It's looking for a pipe. So you know, that, that makes all the difference there. So I'm not going to import this in because I don't need the, this added to my database, but I just wanted to show you that knowing how to change your, um, your separator from a comma to another character is going to help you out when you have uh, that text field that needs to be imported into a database. So again, good tip here. Take this, use this. We have to know how to manipulate data if we're going to work with it, uh, get it into a database, and uh, eventually link to it from Tableau or some other uh, visualization tool. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. As always, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.